The next step in the process is to configure your administration login details for your new WordPress site on OpenShift. So you need to log in again to your OpenShift account and go to the applications page. And uh, here you will see the My Course WordPress installation we've just installed. So what you need to do now is to, uh, to click on your WordPress installation and you'll be taken to the, man uh, the application management page. And from here, you just click on the application link here, and uh, it will take you through a set of instructions for uh, setting up your administration details. I'm going to choose English United States uh, for my site. And uh, here we'll be asked to um, fill in your course site name. Uh, the site title you can change in the dashboard once uh, the course has been established. Uh, choose yourself an admin uh, username. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use uh, admin. Uh, be sure not to forget this uh, because you'll need it uh, for logging in. And now uh, enter the password. So you'll need to uh, choose a password to log in to your WordPress site. Uh, remember to fill in your email. And at the, once you've uh, completed that, you just click on Install WordPress to finish the installation process. Uh, you'll see it's been successful. And from this screen, we can actually log in to our new WordPress install. So let me use my admin login details, which is admin, and my password. And we should be able to log into our site. I think I've had a typing error in my password. There we go, that's much better. So here's the new WordPress site. And uh, if you go to see the site uh, on the web, you'll see that the WordPress theme has been installed successfully with some uh, demo text. Now, at this point, uh, you won't have a full course site uh, because you must still run the script to uh, harvest the pages in Wiki Educator that appear in your course outline. So it's pretty easy to set up a WordPress installation using the OERU theme.